to look at me and not the camera. And, uh, okay, I can't really see your eyes, but okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just get your first and last name and how to spell it, please. Jensen Arnold, J-E-N-S-E-N-A-R-N-O-L-D. Jensen, so what happened out here tonight? Uh, big old tornado hit. You know, we really thought we were in the clear because one started tailing north back up. But then all of a sudden we're watching KOCO 9 and they start saying, Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee. It's on the ground headed right towards OBU's campus. I was doing my preceptorship. I'm a senior nursing major. So I was at the Shawnee ER. We start trying to get the patients in the hallways, you know, taking cover. And yeah, it hit and we walked out and we saw the damage. So what happened at the ER? Um, we were trying to get all of the patients on the outside walls towards an inside wall, because obviously they're our first priority. We're trying to make sure everyone's safe and accounted for family members, you know. Um, the, those who were able to walk, we got them in a safe hallway and those who weren't, we got them towards an inside room. Was there, was it crazy at the, the hospital? It was crazy. And it's starting to, you know, it's still 12 hit about three hours ago. It's picking back up, you know, they're doing the best they can. They called in reinforcements and yeah, they're doing great over there. Okay. Um, so what was the damage like over there at the hospital? Uh, well, we walk out and the ER awning roof is off, like completely off. And insulation is falling in the rooms. You know, I go out to my car, my back window's gone. And so I'm calling everyone, you know, trying to come and like tape it up. Cause like, I don't know how to deal with this. I'm far from home, you know, a bunch of college kids. We have no idea what we're doing. Gotcha. Um, so what was the, what was the first thing that went through your mind whenever you felt the tornado hit and you knew it was a tornado? What I was, was like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. This is historic and we're living through it. And I'm at the Shawnee ER. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Get me and not the camera. Gotcha. And if I can just get your first and last name and how to spell it, please. Uh, I'm Brandon Bailey. B R A N O M B A I L E Y. All right, Brandon. Um, so what happened out here tonight? And where, where were you when the tornado happened? I was at work when it first hit. I was about to clock out and head back over here, but sirens went off. They told me I couldn't couldn't leave until everything was clear. So I sat there for a little bit, and then sirens went off, and they told me we could leave if we wanted to. So I got my truck. Hauled butt back over here, got in the laundry room. That's my fiance over here. She was uh, hiding out and everything, so I came to check on her. And you know, I just got over here, got in the laundry room, just try to hunker down, stay safe for a little bit. Yeah. So, do you go to school here? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What, what university is this? Uh, this is Oklahoma Baptist University. I'm a junior out here. Okay, so uh, tell me about what you're seeing here at the university. Uh, right, we got a lot of damage so far. We got an airport hangar over here that got collapsed, a bunch of sheet metal flying around, messing up a bunch of vehicles. We got some buildings with a lot of damage over here, and really just a lot of vehicles, a lot of busted out windows, and just a lot of a lot of stuff going on. All right, so like uh, when the, when the storm first hit, what, what what went through your head, man? Uh. First, I was like, well, it can't be that serious. It's Oklahoma, we get it all the time. But my mom started calling me, my fiance's calling me, she's freaking out. So I started getting pretty serious about it, trying to make sure everybody was safe, you know, just kind of caring about everybody else except myself. But, Did all your family make it out all right? Yeah, it's just me and my fiance right here in Shawnee. We, right. I got a brother-in-law, they're all good, but all everybody right. else is a little ways away. So they're everybody's good. All right, perfect, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. We're having a combo. All right, if I can just get your uh, first and last name and how to spell it. Uh, I'm Slater Ward, S-L-A-T-E-R-W-A-R-D. Slater, so what happened out here tonight, dude? Uh, so we had some tornado come over, Shawnee, OBU, uh, and a few friends of mine were sheltering in the Rayleigh Chapel, that big concrete building. So we were good ways underground, but we could still feel the pressure change. We heard that freight train coming right over us. And, uh, all of a sudden it got real quiet and we went outside and it's just kind of trashed out here, you know, real, real crazy, a little chaotic. Yeah. So do you play sports here? I do. I, I run track. I, I run at the track right behind us and it's kind of, kind of a little trashed, yeah. a little, a little worried about the season. We're uh, spring sports. So we run right now. So a little worried about it. Um, so uh, what's the, what's the situation look like with the, with the track? Uh, not too bad. I think there's just a bunch of debris and insulation and stuff around it. Okay. Uh, no real structural damage or nothing like that. So okay. could have been a lot worse, but still kind of upset about what happened. So where were you when the tornado hit? Uh, probably like 500 feet that way, 500 yards that way, excuse me. Uh, right, right across the parking lot from where we're at right now. Okay. Yeah. What happened when it, when it hit? Uh, just was hearing it go crazy. Uh, nothing, we were far enough underground to where we weren't really experiencing a lot of 
damage or, or sounds or anything like that, but we could definitely feel the pressure change and, okay. and that hear that wind going crazy, yeah. and we felt it right go over us. Gotcha. Yeah. What, what was the thoughts going through your head? When uh, I knew I was going to live, but I was just still kind of, dude, that's still that primal thing in the back of your head, kind of making sure you're going to be okay. Your nerves are firing, your heart's pumping real fast, your blood's going, so... Uh, but luckily we made it out all right and uh, just very thankful everybody's okay. Yeah. Was yeah. there anything you'd like to tell the nation about uh, this storm in, in this town? Uh, could have been a lot worse. Just very thankful that uh, this is this is all that happened. Perfect. Uh, upset that it happened, but thankful that everybody's safe and okay. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Yeah, yeah. They oh, in the middle of it. We live on our campus on. and we heard the sirens going off like three times. We were in an inner closet of our small little house. And last second we drove to campus. We were driving through the hail and we parked our car in the well, middle the, of a parking lot. We were driving and the power went out while we were driving in the middle yes. of the road. All, all the lights all go down. across dead. the city. Just blow every single light because nobody else is stopping. Might as well. Going 60 down the main road. We Everyone's roll up. Everyone's driving crazy. We no run in the do. building right as a tornado hits. Yeah. Got in there at 957. Tornado hit at 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what was it? what was it like when the tornado hit? Uh, we were all in the basement. We all felt our ears popping. Our ears were popping. Yeah. We the did. ceiling Last tiles Saturday. were rattling because the window in the front busted. And so the air pressure was all whack and messed up. Now, be honest. Was it scary? I mean, yeah. people were yelling. They were, they were like scary. in a room, like all against the wall. Just like, yeah, no Trying one's to talking. It's like, like, like everyone's like, yeah. so scared. Yeah. It was scary. It's scarier now that you can see the effects of it. Like, mm -hmm. shoot. Yeah. That yeah. Was wait, wait, wait till late then. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. we're all seniors. We're all we have seniors. one month left on campus, yeah. and now it's going to be a rebuild month. Yeah. <laughs> the, further, the further north you go, the worse it is. Gosh. I mean, our senior oh, yeah. friend's car got absolutely leveled. She's had the worst luck this year. You should ask her about it. <laughs> yeah, very fairly. Oh, and there's a plastic bag. <laughs> you know, typical Oklahoma trash, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just <Dude>. kidding. <laughs>